Hi and welcome to my website. I'm delighted to have a, a really extraordinary guest. This is Professor Mohammed Yunus, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, a founder of Grameen Bank. It doesn't need an introduction really. I'm delighted to have him in the Scottish Parliament and in Scotland. He's been working closely with Glasgow Caledonian University uh, to bring a Grameen Bank microfinance model uh, to Glasgow uh, and to Scotland. You've been telling us a little bit about social enterprise. Perhaps you'll be able to tell us a little bit more to, to those that are watching. Yeah, I was explaining the social business, what Glasgow Caledonian University is doing, not only microfinance, also social business in a broader sense, in every single direction of the economy. Uh, the social business that we are trying to explain is a, is a non-dividend company uh, dedicated to solving prob social problems, economic problems and so on. It's a problem-solving company. Usually companies are money-making companies. Mm. So you chase money to the company and your whole mindset is how to make more money in that direction. Now using that format of business, we are creating social business to solve problems. It's a mission-driven company, mission of solving problems. So only thing you're doing, you're not taking any dividend out of this company. You created this company to solve a specific problem and it does the job and it's, your money stays in the company, circulates again and again. It's a self-perpetuating company in solving problems. Uh, and you had a fantastic example of, uh, for example, uh, Adidas. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe you can explain yeah. that. Uh, yeah, example. one of the joint venture social business we do is a joint venture with Adidas. Uh, what we're doing with Adidas is to produce shoes affordable to the poorest people. Uh, we uh, have challenged them to produce shoes uh, under which will cost under one euro to mm. the people uh, because they cannot afford more than that. And they work very hard to design and uh, uh, come up with that materials and so on. And they still make a good quality shoe and can sell under one euro. And now that is produced after two years of hard work and it's uh, being sold in India. And soon it will be produced in Bangladesh and sold there too. So this is a case of social business. This Adidas is not going to make money out of it. Mm -hmm. That's not our intention. They will not take a penny out of this company. Yeah. They can take back the investment money, nothing more than that. Sure. So this is a non-dividend company solving the problem of people being barefoot. Mm -hmm. If you remain barefoot, you attract diseases into your body, sure. particularly parasitic diseases. So if you wear shoes, then you are protected from those parasitic diseases. That's the whole intention of the company. And, and finally, just to, I mean, it's a fantastic idea. We were talking to MSPs. Uh, I think all of us know, if you can think of 10 businesses that we'd like to approach, uh, how do we use it here in, in Scotland, in developed countries? Uh, you know, how can we possibly you know, solve the problems of generational poverty uh, here in Scotland? Using the that same model? way, it's, it's a problem. Now some creative way you to design a business where this generational poverty can be overcome. For example, many people uh, in this country are on welfare, on uh, benefits. If uh, you challenge people to come up with a business idea which will take 10 people on benefits out of the benefits because they will have a decent income out of this company that they have created. This is a social business mm -hmm. company. It's a company which covers its own costs, it runs, but creates 10 jobs for these people. So this is a social business because I don't want to make money out of this. As long as they can cover their costs, this is fine for me. And I own the company, I'm happy that I created a job for 10 people. Anybody can do that. So if you can take 10 people out of benefits, and somebody else can take 10 people out of benefits, and we can replicate this, we can keep on uh, repeating these kind of companies, and you can take everybody out of the benefits. It's possible. So this is the kind of exciting thing that awaits for us. It's all about creative idea, mm -hmm. applying technology. Today we have enormous technology at our disposal. Mm -hmm. All we are doing with this technology, we are, we are making money. I said, make money, I'm not against that. But use the same technology to solve problems too, in a social business way. And many of these problems can be done that way. Absolutely fantastic. Well, thank you so much, thank Professor Yunus, for, uh, for, for, for inspiring us with your ideas and, you know, tackling poverty and eradicating poverty is all something that we yeah. talk about. Uh, it's a time to use a little bit of uh, outside the box thinking, sure. a little bit of creativity, and I'm sure. We'll I hope together. some of your companies here do. will be interested in this discussion and can do follow up. If they want to follow up this discussion, one close to you would be Glasgow Caledonian University. They have social business centre but they're trying to promote this idea of social business and you can get them connected with them. They can get connected with me. I'll be very happy because I come here often and we'll discuss, see how to do that. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Great to have you. Thank you. Cheers. Delighted.